Hey guys, from zero to $23,800 per month, step by step with Amazon FBA. This is gonna be an online arbitrage guide, tutorial, straight to the point guys, no BS. We're gonna go every single step you need to take in order to make this kind of money guys, this kind of sales, pretty much right away. I mean, you can do this in a matter of two to three months if you make a start and if you really put yourself into it guys. My name is Andre Kreitzberg guys, a full-time Amazon seller, uh, a coach, um, Amazon eBay coach, been doing this since 2013, and hopefully, guys, you're gonna enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that like, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, guys, and watch this video till the end, guys, because I will be showing you some profitable products. I'll be showing you guys some bonuses at the end, and we're gonna go for every single step right now, okay? So let's begin, guys. First of all, guys, you create a seller account on Amazon. You sign up. There's nothing complicated about it, guys. You can just make a registration on sell.amazon.com. Right hand corner there you have the sign up button which you basically click, it'll take you to the next page and there you can basically, um, you will see all the documents you need, okay, so what you need is the valid government ID, you know, like, you know, issued ID or passport, you need like a bank account to create, for, you know, for, um, you know, the bank account to receive the money into, uh, from Amazon, you need a chargeable credit card, they say credit card but the debit card also works to uh, Put on file so Amazon can charge you for the professional selling plan. It's like a professional selling subscription that I recommend to have. Mobile phone, yeah, all the basic information, guys, like the utility bill, like I've said, the proof of address, your name, your surname. 20 minutes, guys, and you have your seller account established. It's just that simple. You don't need to be a company. You can also do it as an individual. The, the cool thing about selling on Amazon US is that you can be selling as a complete individual uh, right away. You don't need to be a company. If, I mean, I advise to be a company if you are, if you want to be doing wholesale, if you want to be doing wholesale, but this guide is arbitrage, online arbitrage, and you don't have to be a company. You can just do it as an individual. You can start with the minimum investment, and that's what I'm about to show you guys right now in this video. We're going to go into products research in just a second, so keep watching, keep staying, okay? But uh, yeah, that's all you need, guys. Um, don't need to be a company. Individual is fine, and you just move, just move on from there. If you want to become a company, we can help you guys with a setup. We do provide done for you LLC registration services. We give you guys all the information you guys need. Anything you, I mean, anything you want, guys, we can get you set up, get you the documents, get your resale ID in, in US, get your EIN number, company, everything. We can even open an Amazon account for you if your country is not in registration list or you're having problems in registering on Amazon, which shouldn't be the case because Amazon accepts, accepts about 140, 150 different countries to get registered on the platform. Okay, guys, let's move on to the products research right now, okay? So we're gonna do products research from the website called Walmart, okay? The way the online arbitrage works, guys, we're sourcing products from the online retailers we flip them back on Amazon for more that's basically what the model is we find products for less to flip them on more to flip them for more on Amazon I do have uh, a big list of retailers like it's actually a list of 10 top retailers I'm updating every single month it's on my telegram channel guys I will be leaving the link below this video you can go and find it's gonna be called like top always supplies for your um, online arbitrage you know whatever it's gonna be on my telegram okay so make sure to, if you want to see them, if you want to learn more on which suppliers are the best to use, which websites are best to use, to start scouting and that way can you find profitable products the fastest. I have the information, guys, on my Telegram channel, okay? So how do you find the products? You go to Walmart, click on departments. We can go to um, toys and video games, for example. Anything, doesn't, doesn't matter, guys. Let's go to toys rollback, okay? So basically, we're going to be doing some products research right now, guys. I'm going to explain to you what you do, okay? So we have all these products here in front of you. All you got to do is you're going to open up. So control C, open up the link in the new tab. You can open up another product after this. You can open the Kit Connection 18 piece T playset. I'm going to open three random products. I'm going to show you what you need to do, okay? Kit Connection, free story dollhouse. It's a small one. Don't usually send the dollhouses in because they're big and etc. We don't send anything big into Amazon because we do Amazon FBA. We do fulfillment by Amazon. Also, guys, I must remind you, if you want to receive my private guide on how to start selling on Amazon, the additional guide, make sure to comment word guide right now in the comments. This is super important, guys. As you watch this, just drop a word guide, like, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, okay? So we got those products over here. $5.99, I'm going to take the title of this item, and I'm going to simply put this into Amazon. So you open up the Amazon.com, okay? You click all departments here. Make sure you select all. Do not do like books or baby or grocery, especially for the categories you're not intending to find a product set, okay? You put that into the search. So we search this item on Amazon, okay? So the mega constructs, hello, ha Hello, Infinity Conflict, whatever it's called, pack of buildable characters. Um, I'm trying to find a match. I'm trying to find a matching one. It's on clearance, 
$5.99. My goal is to find the same item, but selling for more of the same packaging and etc. guys. So I'm, that's what I'm looking for. And that's what I'm basically uh, scouting for. Okay, I think my, my dog just flipped me for some reason. I think, I think I've scared him. I'm making a video and my dog is just sitting there licking, <laughs> licking my toes or whatever he's doing there. But uh, he just fall asleep. So I was like, flip him. What are you doing? <laughs> making a video, right? So $5.99. Okay, so taking this for $5.99. Uh, I can't find it on Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay, so I'm looking for the same thing. I'm not, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna waste my time. I'm gonna take this for five bucks, guys. I'm gonna show you a profitable item in just a second. Okay, if I don't find anything, guys, the chance of me finding something it's extremely low because usually I can find about eight to ten products in a day. That's eight to ten hours of research. That's what my virtual assistants are doing. We we'll get to that stage, guys, in just a second. Keep watching. Okay, so five dollars. Kid Connection, eighteen piece, T Play set. I'm looking for the same one. I can't really find the same one on the image. Uh, maybe this one looks the similar. Maybe this one kind of looks the similar one, but I don't think it's the same one. It's, it's, it's also a broad word. When, when something is very broad, like it's better to search like a brand. Like this one is Kid Connection, okay? 1997. It's easier to search a brand. I'm also going to give you a quick tip on how to find the product right now, okay? So Kid Connection, um, 1997. I'm looking for this kind of an image here on Amazon. And um, I see I'm not really, like, I've probably chosen the wrong products to be showing you guys, but it's not my point, guys. Okay, my point is just to show you how to do products research and looking for the exact same item, okay? I'm going to open up. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, out of interest, try to, like, find you, like, a matching one. Keep Connection Fire Station Emergency. I'm just going to, you know, I'm here just to, I just want to demonstrate to you guys uh, the, uh, like, the matching. It's not going to be necessarily profitable. Um, this fire set here, kit connection. So I'm looking for the kit connection fire set. I got some kit crafts here and stuff like that. I'm not really interested, okay? This uh, military giant copter set, 57 pieces. So whenever the title is very precise and it tells you like there's 57 pieces and etc., it's easier. It's usually easier to find the match. But I really stepped into something that has a lot of a, a lot of different things on Amazon. So let me just look at this one, toy toy Mendus eight piece surprise box set. Let's see if I can pull this one on Amazon.com. Let's see if I can find it, guys. Okay, um, Sunny Days eight piece. Still not finding it. I don't know why. Like sometimes, usually it just pops up right at the top, and uh, you know, like the the products usually popping up right at the top. But uh, the fish fish price is gonna be a good one. Let's try. It. I'm just gonna. I just want to find something, guys. I didn't plan this to be in a video like this way. I'm doing it. But I'm just eager to find like a matching one because it's usually not the case. Okay, there you go. Fisher price seven forty four. Um, looks like a similar one here for twenty four dollars. I don't think it's a matching one though, uh, but it, it does look more or less the same. So here is what you can do. You can scroll up and you look for the EIN number over here. There usually is like EIN number where you can go and search this item quicker on Amazon, and this way it will show you. Um, it, it will you know easily show you the matching item if you do like through the EIN number and etc. Guys, okay. In this case, I can't really. Um, you know, there's no EIN number here, so I'm gonna close these tabs away, and I'm simply gonna show you a profitable item right now that I pre-found for this video. Here is the set of instant coffees for 458, okay, and then selling on Amazon for 4032. Now you're thinking like, oh wow, 4032, it's selling for this much, it's making this much money. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, that's unbelievable, Andre. Okay. Well, let's let's pay attention. Okay, this is a pack of four selling for 4032. We're buying it on Walmart for 458. Pack of one. So first of all, you have to multiply 458 by four. That's correct. 458 by four, and you get 1832 as your purchase price. So you buy four of this, but you're still selling them for 4032 on Amazon. And if you put the calculation here, so we're paying. Uh, so it's not 1970. Uh, it's 1832 we're paying for we're making 647 profit after all fees we're using this cool extension tool here called seller amp which gives us a lot of data on an item okay it makes a 647 profit after all fees i'm going to explain to you how the fees are working so we find the products and you send them over to amazon amazon charges you the fees i'm going to scroll down and i'll show you how the fees are working right now okay you scroll down here you see total fees here so total fees like this you open up you see you're paying 598 just to sell on the platform and you pay $7.49 for Amazon to fulfill the product for you on your behalf, for your behalf, and on your behalf, <laughs> and send the item over to your customer. They do all the storing, fulfillment, talking, returns, and etc. whatever. They charge $7.49 for that. So the total fees you pay to sell on the platform 
minus the expenses, you're making 640, minus the cost of the product, you're making 647 profit on this item. This is absolutely insane. If I'm gonna scroll up for this particular item, I see that it's selling 408 times per month. How do you know if it's a selling item or not? You can look at the tools like Selleram, which will show you the estimated number of sales, but if you don't use this tool, if you um, don't wanna rely on the tool, and I don't really recommend doing that all the time, you can go and simply scroll down and you can read the best sellers ranking of the product right here. You see, we have the product details and we have the column here called best sellers ranking. So we see it's 14,860 in grocery and gourmet food. So this category, this, this category, this item is in a grocery section, in the grocery category of Amazon. It's for ranked 14,860. But those are just some random numbers. What are you talking about? Like, what, what does it even mean? Guys, by the way, if you're enjoying this uh, presentation, if you're enjoying this Amazon FBA online arbitrage, a guide make sure to drop me a like and drop me a subscription button right now guys it's super important and don't forget to comment guide below this video guys as well to receive my private FB guide on how to start this business from scratch okay 14,860 in grocery what does that mean okay so we're gonna go to this uh, sales rank chart over here which looks like this you find the US table US table Canadian table Mexican table go to the UK table for the Amazon uh, marketplace okay we're looking for the Amazon US market right now we're looking for the category called grocery gourmet food which is right over here we see a total number of products 3 million six hundred sixty two thousand we see top 25 percent of those products are in nine hundred fifteen thousand six hundred ninety our goal is to look for the number that is less than three percent three percent of the category so here simply top three percent 109,883. Anything under 109,883, we are selling this item. This item is gonna be good. This item is gonna be selling product. We know going back to our product, it's ranked 14,860. This is actually under 0.5%, which is right over here, under 0.5% of the entire category. That means the item is selling really well and the seller AM tool is showing us exactly the same thing. Now. After you've estimated the item is good, I'm gonna show you guys another item in just a second from a different supplier. What do you do after that? You send items over to a prep center, okay? So you buy the product and you send them over to a prep center, okay? So before it goes over to Amazon FBA, you need to list the item on your Amazon account and you need to go and label it and send it over to Amazon FBA. Like you gotta create a shipment inside your Amazon and send it physically into Amazon, okay? And in order for you to do that, you can you have two options, either prepping and packing yourself, that you have to ship it to your own house in the US, if you're doing it in the US, if you're doing it in UK, you're doing it in the UK, you gotta repack, relabel everything, and send things over to Amazon. Or you use a prep center facility, you send the goods to them, you pay them $1 per item, that's it. So let me just go back and rephrase this, $1 per item. In this case here, we're making $647, you're gonna add another dollar to here, so it's not $1832, it's gonna be $1932, Plus, it's gonna be another. It's gonna be like roughly 20, 30 cents to send the product into Amazon. So you're gonna pay about 1960, 1970. Let's just say 1970 for the sake of it for the entire operation on this item for one single unit. You're still gonna make five dollars and nine cents after all fees, which is crazy. Okay, so 25 percent, 25.84 percent ROI. Is that what you're gonna make on this particular item, which is absolutely insane? And it's selling 408 times per month. So that means you could be really making about 2000 profit on this particular item alone. But I'm not gonna tell you guys like some funny stories right now. I'm not gonna tell you you're gonna make two grand on this item because there's also gonna be competition, etc. Let's say you're gonna make a tenth of that profit. You're gonna make a tenth of that sales. That's $200 from one item. Find 10 products like this, you're making two grand. Find 20 products like this, you're making four grand. Find 40 products like this, you're making eight grand profit every single month with your Amazon FBA business, and so on and so on and so on and so on. It's scalable, it's so scalable, you just can't imagine, okay? So you look at the sales rank, you look at this, you ship items to the prep center, they will open up your products like this, they will inspect it, they'll make sure everything is good, make sure everything is all right, they make sure that everything is rock solid, and they will forward over to Amazon FBA. They'll forward it over to Amazon Fulfillment, the repack, the relabel, they put it on the pallet or they'll send it individually by UPS. However big it is, however big your shipment is, however it has to be, they'll send it over. That's basically, guys, how it works, okay? Now, 
after this, there is a way to make some more money. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys a quickly another profitable item that we're taking from Kohl's. Let me just show you. Just going to pull up an item for you guys so you understand exactly. It's not just Walmart. It's not about, you know, reusing just one supply. And I do have a top 10 recommendation supplies for US and UK in my Telegram channel. The link is going to be below, guys, in the description of this video. You can go and join my Telegram and you can get updates every single month on the top supplies. We're finding the best working us for the last 30 days. I'm updating it every single month there, okay? So we've got the calls. We've got the um, Amazon.com selling for $40, okay? Selling for $40, buying for $25 making 505 profit here with 229 sales per month. Buying it from Kohl's directly for 25 bucks, selling it for $40 on Amazon, as you can see right over here, okay? Now, another way to make some more money, guys, is using websites like topcashback.com. You can go here and you can enter supply you're using, let's say Walmart, and you can make some extra money, cashback, which will basically offset your prep cent expenses. For example, here, if you're spending $100 at Walmart, you're making 4.2% cash back, which is $4.20. That's just on a purchase, guys, okay? If you spend $1,000, you're making $40 back. You can go to different supplier. You can type calls in here. You can look for another supplier. Doesn't matter, guys. Um, let's say Bed Bath & Beyond. Let's say, um, let's just do, uh, Coles is doing 2% cash back, okay? Let's just say, uh, let's do, let's try Bed, I don't think Bed Bath & Beyond offers uh, cash back. Uh, back in my days when I used to do a lot of, uh, like all this buying myself, not using virtual assistants there yet. They never really like, gave any cash back. Let's just say uh, uh, we can do Marshalls, for example. We can do like Vita Cost. So there's a lot of vendors you could be using, guys. I do have a list of that stuff. So Marshall headphones they have here. But, uh, you know, just for the sake of it, guys, Vita Cost, how much do they have? It's another retailer we guys using for the retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, whatever you want to call it, okay? Sometimes websites can be slow, but you got to go and check out through the website. 9% cash back, that's amazing, guys, okay? So 9%, $9 in every $100 you spend. That's, if you're going to buy 9 units, that's going to offset $1 per item. That's going to offset your prep and pack fee, guys. That's how amazing this is, okay? Now, there is a way to scale this business, but before I tell you what you need to do, guys, Make sure to go and smash that like button, guys, right now. And make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, guys. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube. And drop your word guide right now if you're interested in my private guide to get this even further. My private FBA tutorial. And make sure to comment any questions you guys have, my, you, you might have, guys, okay? Of course, there are more ways of doing research. There is, a, there is a lot more to it, guys. I teach all this stuff, guys, inside my FBA Mastery program. I do have a private mentoring with the private support, that's inside my FB Mastery, guys, if you're interested, okay? And that's also going to be below in the description, guys, okay? I'm just showing you guys how this business works in a nutshell, okay? As well as I am going deep into virtual assistants, okay? Which is basically the way to scale your business. Hiring VAs from Philippines to do the product research for you, they'll be able to do the product research for you, find you 8, 10, even 15 products every single day while you running a business and doing nothing, enjoying your family time, whatever you guys are doing. I'm a family man myself, and got two daughters, I got a son on this way as well, and, um, um, you know, um, and um, yeah, really, really uh, excited about that, by the way, so, uh, yeah, the three kids can be all together, so, uh, it's been, um, you know, it's it's whatever your priorities are in life, okay, um, so, so um, yeah, you can outsource, you can have uh, virtual assistants running your businesses, we're using websites called Online Jobs uh, PH, and basically here you go to uh, account, and then I'm going to show you guys how it works, uh, we post job posts, job offers here, and we basically hire VAs, uh, like for example here, US and UK FB product sourcer, urgently needed. We hire VAs, we pay them like $200, $300 a month. They're getting a good salary. They, they're getting paid, you know, 400, maybe 500 a month, depending on the position. We pay for their living and et cetera. Um, you know, and they basically do all the work for us. Okay, we pay them per deal. Like for example here, we pay them $2 per deal. And um, you know, they could be finding us a product that is making like the one I showed you guys, five, six dollar profit per unit, and it's selling over four hundred times per month. So you can imagine how much, how much profit they can easily make us if you're doing it the right way. Okay, using virtual assistants is a must, guys. It's it's absolutely must using VAs, virtual assistants. I've started using them, using them, guys, since 2016 myself, and um, it really changed my business. Really allowed me to scale past the six figures every month. Uh, with using the ace when I used to do it myself, I was making money, but you know 13 till 16 It was kind of like, you know, it was it was a ride. It was slow, but it was I was a ma I was like a one-man 
uh, it was one month operation, guys, and uh, had to go and do all the things myself. So hiring VAs is absolutely a must if you're planning to grow and scale this business. And that's what I teach in my FBA Mastery program too, guys, okay? But that's basically the um, zero to $23,800 per month. Amazon FBA tutorial on an arbitrage guide for you guys step-by-step. Step. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully I managed to deliver a lot of value. I'm gonna add all the links, guys, below in the description. Make sure to join my Telegram channel, guys. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave any questions you guys have for me. I'll be uh, posting more videos, doing at least two videos per week right now. You can check out my other information. Maybe you need more UK stuff. I have UK videos actually launched last week. You can go and check them out on how to do this business in UK and how to find the products in UK and etc. guys. Hopefully you're getting a lot of value, guys. And if you have any questions, do let me know. All the links are gonna be available below in the description. And we'll be wrapping up this video, guys, on this note right now. Take actions and uh, join my Telegram. And I'll see you guys inside. Bye-bye.